Hi folks, Carrie Gilliard, Black Calvinist, aka Grace Preacher, coming to you April, <laughs> my fault, August 2008. Sitting inside of a Panera Bread, August 17th, 2008. I'm still doing a little bit of editing on T4G video, getting ready to head back to school, so I got a whole bunch of different things going on. But took a short break just to uh, drop a few notes in here before moving on to the next video. I still have a lot of footage that I have to get edited and uploaded for everybody, and hope to do that sometime within the near future. Um, probably have somewhere in the neighborhood of about three videos left, each one's running somewhere in the neighborhood of ten minutes. And look forward to getting those up online for you guys soon. Um, other good things you may have heard about coming out, um, I think they're supposed to be doing a music CD from the actual singing from the conference. So that will be great. I'd love to think in some small part that I influenced that with my videos as well as the stuff that I've uh, uploaded online from the 2006 conference. But in any case, just praise the Lord on the whole thing. Uh, let's see, those two things pretty much it. Um, as you can see, the uh, difference between April 2008 and August 2008 is that I no longer have hair. So don't be too surprised when you look at the video and you see me with hair and stuff like that. In any case, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy the videos and look forward to dropping a few more on you soon. Take care. Not a fallen, not complete a complete fall. Not a complete fall. The gravity. Yeah. See, that's the thing they don't believe in total the gravity. Right. That's the problem. Which they is probably why you're saying death isn't death then. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not, dead not doesn't mean dead. Right. Complete yeah. fall. Right. right. Well, that's leaning to man's wisdom. In one, in one aspect, it would also depend on what kind of Ar of Arminian, quote unquote, that you're talking to. That's true. If you're talking to a strict Wesleyan Arminian, like a Thomas Odin or somebody, they're going to be like, like if you read Wesley's writings himself, he actually agreed with total depravity yeah. as we stated, but he said that after the fall, God reached God reached in and added a certain amount of grace that took back some that of the point, effects. Everyone of the, to a neutral point where, right. where, where you and you can now make the, right. the ability. That, that's, that's, that's his and, prevenient and grace. And Wesley called that prevenient grace. Prevenient grace yeah. yeah, but where does that say that in the word? That's what I want to know. And that is the thousand dollar question that no one has an answer to. That's right. So and they can't. Then, then if it doesn't in the word, then now you're leading them back to wisdom. Walk around. Yeah. Because uh, they want to account for people making choices. They want to account for. Um, they want to account for people making for people making choices. They want to point. They want to account for. Um, it, goes, it goes back to the pride of the simple nature. They want to account. They also want to account for when they see people who they swear up and down are brothers and sisters in Christ. Dropping off the face of the planet and abandoning the faith. But that person prayed with me. That person led me to Christ. How did they all of a sudden abandon the faith? Maybe you can lose your salvation. And they start misinterpreting Hebrews 6 and everything else along those lines. So maybe, so maybe we, so maybe we have the ability. So if they can lose their salvation, then maybe we have the ability to gain our salvation in the first place. Or rather, but they won't use that language. They'll say we have the choice to be able to choose to or choose against. Okay. All over the place. And again, again, hold up, hold the bag up. Yeah, that's the book right there. That's the book right there. I'm, a, I'm up in a, where am I in that book? I'm in like chapter three? Yeah, somewhere around that. Day one publications. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Day one's got a lot of good stuff. This Spurge 365 is a unique 365 uh, daily readings from sermons preached by Spurgeon from his New Park Street pulpit. Jesus Christ. The Prince of Preachers, learning from the teaching, whoops, let's turn it the right way, learning from the teaching ministry of Jesus, this is by Mike 
Abendroth, Day One Publications. Let me see if this nice, wonderful lady over here can give us some information about Day One Publications. Hello. Hi. Can I ask you a few questions about Day One Publications? Yes, please do. Okay. Uh, your name? My name's Hazel Robinson. Okay, Hazel. Where is Day One Publications located? Well, it's, um, our base is in the UK, in a place called Lempster. Uh, we've been going for about 12 years now. We've also got an office here in Greenville that we've had for the last two years, Greenville, South Carolina. Okay, cool. And I'm looking around at some of the titles here and everything. I'm going to put this up on uh, my YouTube video page. All right. Um, I'm looking around at some of the titles here and they look really good. I see some endorsements from people like John MacArthur and other yeah. uh, things like that. What does Day One Publications exist to do? Uh, well, I think one of the, the aims is to encourage people to get into the Word of God and to see that it's, you know, it's accessible for all. You have to make it more accessible by particularly these um, Bible study guides. Okay. Um, making that easier for people to yeah, we'll see these around. ones here. Okay, let's see. We've got the opening first, up series. We've got to make the Bible accessible to everyone. Okay. So we've got some good ones here. And I see we've got a bunch of other things too. Stuff on Jonah and Yeah, this this is um, exploring the um, creation evolution um, debate. We've also got um, several other books on um, on creation and okay. related topics. Okay. And these ones here, um, these were actually written by my husband. <laughs> um, okay. He's been proving a quiet time, and he's got a real passion to encourage people to spend time with the Lord and to to not feel guilty about the fact that they're not doing it very well. But it's just to, his book was written to be a guilt-free zone to encourage people to. <laughs> yeah, that's one. That is a hard thing with. That's a hard thing with a lot of. It's a hard thing with me too. Okay, where is Day One's website so that uh, folks reading this can get more information? Um, <laughs> Um, day1.co.uk. Let me see. Uh, get that on today. Day one dot co dot uk and the toll free number right there eight 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 three two nine sixty six thirty. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you ever so much. All right. something else kind of crazy that's something else kind of crazy I actually left my laptop and my digital camera and everything just kind of sitting around how you doing <laughs> and I'm just gonna guess that it's still sitting out here <laughs> because this is a Christian environment and if it isn't but I don't think that'll be a problem Alright, well, here we go. Christians who want to be equipped to answer those challenges have very few options short of going to seminary. And now we have with us Pastor Sam Morell. Sam, what church are you at? I am Pastor of New Beginnings Community Church in Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Sam, for some of you who don't know, was also in Baltimore for a little while over at Forest Park Community Church, PCA. Sam, how are you? Liking the conference? I've enjoyed it tremendously. Okay. What, uh, let's see, for the people who could not make it, what do they make? Give us a short summary. What do they miss so far? Well, what they have missed is uh, a conference that's focusing on the only source of hope that we have to offer to a lost world, and that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ and Him crucified. The cross is the focus, and the uh, power of a life-giving message is in the work of Jesus Christ and His death, burial, and resurrection. It's been absolutely great. Cool, cool, cool. For folks aspiring to be pastors, and I know you get this question on a regular basis, because you're a pastor. What advice, what advice would you have for them? Well, I would, the advice I would have would be study. Study to show yourself approved. Um, pray, get connected to a local church. Uh, going to seminary uh, uh, outside of being connected to a local church, I think is a tremendous, tremendous mistake. You need to be connected to a body of people and you need to 
be in a place that preaches the gospel so that you know exactly what, uh, what you're getting into. Cool, cool. How you like the bookstore? <laughs> Pastor's delight. <laughs> Hi, Brother Sam. Thank you ever so much, sir. It is an honor to have you on this on this little highlight reel I'm doing here. <laughs> Thanks. All right. T4GO8, Black Calvinist out. Peace. <laughs> I got both Don't brothers right here. Black oh, I know, right here. <laughs> you know, here you go. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, <laughs> all, all, there you go. That's, that's all three of us. There ain't no <laughs> That's all three of us. That's all three of us. <laughs> good to meet you, man. So man. good to meet you. Yeah, man. Good to see you, man. Same, man. All right. Same. Thank you. you last night on, the, on YouTube. <laughs> I did. I did. You said anybody else going? You're sitting at a Panera Bread. Yes. And these are all, I've got highlight clips that are going to be up there. See you later. Come to me, all who labor How cool and are heavy that? laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. How are you? And gentle and lowly in heart. Michael King from South Carolina. And you Myrtle, what church? Rest Myrtle Beach, uh, Myrtle Myrtle South Strand Community Church. Church. Okay, are you a pastor? Yes, sir. My burden. Praise God for your ministry, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Loving the conference so far? Sir? Loving the conference so far? Absolutely. <laughs> Oh. 